Hey guys, just wanted to show you today how to upgrade from an SSD boot drive to an NVMe boot drive in the M2 slot on your motherboard. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, first of all, what is an NVMe drive? NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. These drives run on a PCI Express bus at usually 4x or 4 lanes to the CPU. What does that mean to the end user? Well, that means very fast data transfer speeds. For comparison, mechanical hard drives are fairly limited in their capabilities, with the fastest drives reaching speeds of between 160 and 200 megabytes per second of transfer speed. And on top of all that, we have to take into account that these drives are mechanical, so there is extra time for the read head to move to the correct physical position on the platter. Moving up the ladder, we have solid state drives, or SSDs that are memory based and have no moving parts, but are separated by several ways of communicating with the rest of your system. One way that is shared with the mechanical hard drive is the SATA connection or serial ATA bus. The fastest of these is limited to communication speeds of about six gigabits per second or around 600 megabytes per second. But an even faster way of communicating is to use the same bus that your graphics card uses to communicate with the CPU and the rest of the system with extremely low latency and delay, and that is through the PCI Express bus. Now, the drive that I have here is Samsung's VNAND SSD called the 970 EVO. It is an NVMe M.2 drive that is capable of about 3400 megabytes per second sequential read and about 2300 megabytes per second of sequential write speed. Okay, well you guys have all seen unboxing videos, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Let's just pop it open and we'll have a look. Wow, it's pretty impressive to think that that is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's quite impressive. And the fact that they're wafer thin just blows me away. So much storage space in such a tiny little area. So there's a screw that goes right here to lock it in place, a little tiny screw. And that's about it. It's a really straightforward install. So um, let's jump right over to the computer. We'll have a look. So my particular NVMe drive is a 2280 form factor. And what that is, is 22 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters long. It's one of the most common form factors besides 2242. And in this particular case, I had a little standoff that was uh, set to the smallest form factor there. I don't recall the measurements on that, but um, I had to move it to the end there. So that's relocated now. And then all there is to it is you take the slotted end and check which way the slot is, where the slot is on the, uh, on the connector. And then you'll, you'll pop that in on a bit of an angle. It, it sticks off the board about 20 or 25 degrees, and that's the easiest way for it to, to slide in. I'm just going to swap my light over to the other side here so you guys can see what's going on. So just a little bit of wiggle. That slides right in just nicely. And it's, it's perfectly normal for it to hang out. Like I mentioned, it's a, about 20 or 25 degrees. It'll stick off of the motherboard. And just grab your screw. And uh, you don't want to reef this down, obviously. You're just catching the little back edge of that. Line it up and tighten it down here. And there's no need to reef on it, just snug it up. And just like that, you are NVMe ready. Next step is to figure out what cloning software you're gonna use. There's quite a few on the market, some paid, some free. Not all the same, but uh, figure out what choice is good for you. In my particular case, I'm gonna use, because it's a Samsung drive, I can use the Samsung data migration tool. So where you get that is uh, samsung.com and it'll pull up your country. Go to the support tab, the manuals and downloads under product support. And then you'll see select your product for manuals. We want storage and look at that right there. My 500, uh, 500 BW is my model number. So that's the one I want. So we're going to uh, click on that to select it. And there, there right there is the data migration tool for Windows 32 or 64-bit 10. So we're going to download that. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm re-downloading it, but that's fine. It takes as fast as I can click on it. 
and then you're gonna run that software, prove the UAC warning if you receive it, allow it to install, pretty quick. <laughs> okay, so now we have the Samsung data migration tool installed. So now what we're doing is we're, we're figuring out which drives we need to use to do the data migration. For most people, it's going to be fairly straightforward. Uh, it was in my case, but uh, in this particular case, we're going to double check with the disk manager. Okay, so we have two ways we can do this. We can either press Windows key and X combo, or we can do right click on the start menu and select disk management. And that will take us to this tool here. Okay, so there's the drive I'm looking for, my disk three. It's a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. It's the only 500 gig drive I have. So that's the drive that I'm cloning to. And the drive I wanna clone from, you would have seen pop up a couple of times there, is disk two. That's my 256 gig ADATA uh, 900 Pro something or other, I can't remember. Okay, so now that we know which drives we're looking for to do the cloning from and to, we're going to open our data migration tool. And so SSD is going to be the one I'm going from, my 256 gig, and I'm looking for my 500 gig NVMe drive to transfer to. Now, I believe the Samsung tool will only allow you to transfer to a Samsung disk, so it'll only work if you have Samsung. Use your cloning tool and uh, obviously double check what you're cloning from and to so you're not overwriting good information. So there's my 970 Evo and 500 gig, so that's looking good. There's 134 gig going from a 200 and roughly 40 usable gig drive up to a 465 gig drive. So everything looks good. We're going to hit start on that. And they do recommend closing everything. So I basically shut down everything that's running in the background even, and just let this thing do a nice clean clone. Okay, so there you have it. The Samsung data migration is finished. We have our target disk, the SSD 970 Evo 500 gigabyte. It's done, stating that there's 330 gigabytes of free disk space available on the target disk. So that is the boot drive that we want to have booting now. We don't wanna be using our other SSD. So if we open up File Explorer here and we go down to Local Disk C, uh, that should still be our original drive. And then Local Disk F is our new NVMe. And of course it's unavailable because it's not, uh, it's not set up yet in Windows. So what we have to do is have to do a reboot and we're gonna reboot and unplug the current C drive, which Local Disk F is actually, does have a C volume designation. So it's conflicting with the current C and that's why it's unavailable. Yeah, you'll see there the 465 gig, it says C drive. So it does have a C drive designation because it does a clone. It copies every bit of data from one drive to the next. So we're gonna close this down and we'll reboot the system. Boy, was that fast. Yeah, not really, obviously. Okay, so now when we look in here, and yeah, look at that, local C and there's no secondary drive. So that means that our drive is currently unplugged. It booted up just fine. And sure enough, yep, capacity 500 gigs. So we are now booting off of the NVMe drive. And what's really cool is I didn't even have to go into the BIOS. This was all done automatically by the UEFI in uh, BIOS. So uh, it, pretty cool. All I did is unplug the old drive and it literally looked for the new drive, found the new drive. The order was already set to boot off of it and it just booted off the NVMe. So that was really cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. If you're interested to now find out how to delete and format that old Windows boot drive that you had, uh, it's not as easy as you'd think, but it is fairly straightforward once you know what you're doing. So click here to see how to do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.